Hi, and welcome to the Wilbur D. May Arboretum and the fabulous Ranch House. Today I'm going to be reading about Nanook, a fabulous female polar bear. Written by Jeanette Winter. I don't know if Winter's her last name, but it's appropriate for a beautiful winter scene. Okay. Oh, there's a little tidbit here. Way, way up at the top of the world in the far, far north lives Nanook, the majestic ice bear. Come and visit her. That's what we're doing today. A short little visit. Where does it start? Oh, I love this. At the top of the world, snow falls. Now we're in Reno, Nevada. It also snows here. But not nearly as much. And it falls. Layers of snow freeze into icy glaciers that cover the bare mountains. Have you seen a glacier? I landed on a glacier in a helicopter once. It was cold. And slowly slide down to the sea. I think I might have missed something. Nope, the snow slides down to the sea. It looks like Nanook does as well. The top of the sea freezes too. Ooh, those are icebergs. Nanook, the ice bear, lives in this quiet white world. It is peaceful when it snows. She hunts for food on the sea ice and in the cold waters. Can you imagine? Ooh, I much prefer the grocery store. Great chunks of glacier break away and become icebergs that float out to sea. Can you see them? Nanook is hungry. I can imagine. She sees seals in the faraway distance. They're little tiny seals on very large glacier icebergs. She swims closer and looks. Look how cute they are. But the seals slide down into the water and escape. I'm so happy for the seals. Nanook sees another bear and swims toward him. She climbs up high to his perch. It's a good looking bear. And the two bears dance a dance of courtship. Ooh, baby. Later, they swim back to the sea ice. Good thing they have lots of fur to keep them warm. They hunt through air holes. Seals have made in the ice to breathe. Days grow shorter. The two bears sleep in the snow, warmed by their fur and each other. When the long night of winter begins, Nanook digs alone through the ice and snow to make her winter den. She climbs down deep. Do you see the den here? To the cozy underground hideaway and waits for her cubs to be born. Ooh, look. She nurses her cubs. They're so adorable. And watches them grow all through the dark Arctic winter. When the sunlight returns, her cubs are ready for the world. Nanook guides them up to the light. See them coming up? Wonderful thing. And they swim. And they fish. After two or three summers have passed, the cubs are ready to go off on their own. Nanook watches them leave. She's a little sad. Then she returns to her solitary life. But the quiet white world is changing. Oh no. The ice is melting. The sea is rising. Soon there will be no place to hunt. Oh, we missed a page. Nanook sleeps. She dreams of snow falling and falling and freezing into ice that slides down to the sea. So once again, she can hunt and raise new cubs. And here we are at the end. I hope you enjoyed meeting the nook.